to hold on tight until help arrives. Man, you can imagine what that must have felt like on a Norwegian cruise ship that lost power in stormy weather. More than 400 people had to be evacuated one by one by helicopter. And a North Texas company played a critical role in that rescue. We've learned CHC helicopter of Irving sent four aircraft to help save those passengers from the stranded ship. So in total, it was uh, uh, just over 20 uh, helicopter trips. Uh, from the vessel and, uh, and to, uh, to the location on shore. And all that rescue operation lasted more than 18 hours. After all that, it is probably hard to beat the feeling of being back on dry land. Yeah, and a woman from Dallas knows that firsthand. Teresa Woodard got in touch with her just a few hours ago after she arrived in London. Teresa? Chris and Marie, Michael Stewart is a seasoned traveler, and this trip through Norway had been incredible. She and a friend saw the northern lights. They saw tons of snow, peaceful fjords, and then everything changed on board the Viking Sky on Saturday. Look at that amazing video. The ship encountered extreme wind and terribly rough seas. The engines went out, and the captain could not stabilize the ship or steer it out of danger. So it just rocked back and forth with waves crashing onto the decks. Tables, chairs, glasses, plates, plants, even people sliding all over the ship. Listen closely now to Michael Stewart describing what she experienced when she was sitting on a couch with four other people. And our couch with four human beings on it, it slid across the atrium maybe 20 feet. And I'm like, oh dear, this, this is now getting serious. I am stunned, A, that the ship didn't sink. I'm stunned the ship did not hit the rocks. Did you hear that? She said she was stunned the ship didn't sink. It was Saturday afternoon in Norway when the emergency alarms first sounded, sending all of the passengers to a specific meeting location for evacuation. Now, Stewart ended up sitting in a theater area for the next 15 and a half hours wearing a life jacket, just waiting to learn how she was going to be evacuated. Several passengers, as you said, were taken off by helicopter, but she was not among that group. The weather and the seas did calm down. Stewart and hundreds of other passengers remained on board while the ship was towed to a nearby small town. They actually ended up spending one more night on board that ship as it was docked in that small town. Today they flew to London and tomorrow she's going to fly home to Dallas. Chris Marie, she has nothing but praise for the way the cruise ship treated staff and or for rather the way that the cruise ship staff treated them. And she's not angry that this happened, but she said she sure is glad that it is over. Back to you guys. No doubt about it. I mean, watching that video now, it still just sends my stomach rolling. So I can't imagine being there and, and sitting for 15 hours. Oh boy, not the way you want to spend a vacation. Not Thank you so all. much, Teresa. Uh, coming up, I'll